in here, I showed you guys, I have some green oxide and some black activated charcoal. I'm going to go ahead and mix that now because this is going to be my leaf piping. And I think, yeah, that's the color I want right there. That's good. I wasn't sure. I'm going to let this sit off to the side for a while. And then we're going to mix in this little bit of, uh, well, not a little bit, this activated charcoal and soap base. I'm going to go slow because activated charcoal can go airborne. I'm going to need some more soap base. I'm doing it this way just to make sure that I get um, it well mixed in without any streaks. <sighs> Love that. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance, um, all of my whisk, for whatever reason. What in the world? Oh, I don't know what's happening with these whisk, guys. This one has dried soap in it. I washed it, and it still has bits of dried soap up in the top of it. Loud. <laughs> this is just one of those days, uh, whisk life. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do I even have any more whisk? I'm afraid to use the other one, the smaller one. It just feels like it's going to break too. Well, we're just not going to whisk it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean off this spatula. It's all over my hands. So now I'm going to attempt to pour my fragrance in and stir this up some more. Hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy like C's because <laughs> I've never used this. Um... Oh, that's nice. I've never used, no, that's a lot. I have used, it turned a beautiful navy, look at that. But I know it's going to turn back black. This smells so mother cracking good, I just can't even get over how good this uh, cocoa butter cashmere smells. Wow. But, um, it seems to be loosening the trace of my soap. But, uh, yeah, and it's looking quite navy. Okay, the black is coming back. But I think I figured out what I want to do as far as a mica line. I, I really did want a mica line. I just wasn't sure. I thought I wanted pink, but that pink does not fit in with oops, with the rest of what I'm trying to do here. Sorry for bumping you guys around. Okay, so I'm going to scrape down those sides. Get that unmixed in there. Yeah, oh, this fragrance is just so well behaved. I just can't get over how great this is. But again, it's still a little too thin for what I want to do. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Um, I'll just pour with my left hand and there is no promises that this is not going to end up being a disaster. Okay. I am bedextrous. I am not. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm going to bring my Cheshire Cat in here. It's going to assist me today because I kind of want this to be on an angle. Oh, not that angle. <laughs> learned that this fragrance oil really 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 decelerates trace so um, I just took my spoon and kind of made some divots I was planning to do like a you know turn it the other way and then angle it another pour and then do it like a line but this stuff is just not setting up at all <laughs> so I'm going to just go ahead and work with what's what I got Okay, um, that 
Well, we always want our fragrances to work uh, well and behave and give us lots of time to play, but this, <laughs> this is a little bit more than I asked for. Let me turn the camera right. This whole ordeal, just like, woo chow, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, we're going to get it together. So I don't know if it was even worth me putting this on a tilt because this is still very fluid, as you can see. I can't even put my flowers on because they're just going to sink. But what I will do is grab this piping. It might, honestly, it may take about 40 minutes for me to be able to do anything with this. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to grab another whisk and hopefully this one doesn't fall apart because I need for this to set up. Now this doesn't have any fragrance in it, so it should set up pretty quickly. Um, so I can pipe some uh, leaves. And I actually want this to be a wee bit darker. I think that's just too bright. So anywho, I'm not gonna bore you with all of this stuff. I'm gonna let that set up. I'm gonna let this set up. I'm, when I come back, it'll be in the piping bag. We'll start putting our flowers on top of the soap and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, okay. tired I am of waiting on this soap. <laughs> I've literally watched a, watched a Netflix episode. I've had dinner. I've done quite a few things and I'm still waiting on this mother cracking soap. <laughs> Woo! I don't know. I just don't know. This is this piping still isn't ready but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's just leaves guys. It's just leaves. I cannot wait on this soap any longer and I'm sure um, all of my efforts will be well worth it. And I mean, that's like super runny, but I'm not needing these to hold like stand up or anything. I might regret this. I probably will, but I'm just going to go for it, honey, because I'm tired of waiting on this soap. I really, really am. And I think most of this is probably going to run out of the piping bag as soon as I put it in there and get it down. But we're going to find out like right now. But I will say it smells so good i just can't i just can't with this fragrance it just smells so amazing oh and actually i didn't even say it like today is new year's the very first day january 1st 2020 whoop, whoop. so um hope you guys had a wonderful happy new year new year bringing in the new year safely all that stuff so um yeah i don't even know how that slipped my mind i said gabe and i we don't we don't do anything we're we're so boring we really are but it works for us. Okay, so yes, this is running all out. Ooh, all out. I can't even. Let me see if I can make a leaf. Anything that, yeah. Something that remotely resembles a leaf. So these are going to be some little fat leaves. <laughs> They're not holding their shape. My gosh, guys. I just, I don't know. I'm just wanting to be done with this soap. I really am. Okay, <laughs> now I want to wait <laughs> just because these leaves really don't have any definition, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. I just don't even know. So I started this soap, and there's just no joke. No, okay, I take the fact. I didn't start it, but I came down here to make this soap 10 o'clock this morning. It's almost 5 now. Don't ask me. <laughs> just don't even ask me, like, what has taken me so long. I'm just, like, over myself at this point. <laughs> I just had to keep telling myself, girl, get your life. So, <laughs> oh, jeez. I just don't even, uh, just don't even know. But, yeah, so I guess I'll watch a couple of more episodes of you 
and then hopefully this will be ready. I mean, at this point, honestly, I pretty much piped most of the leaves that I was going to put on there. But there's some other stuff I want to put on here. I'm not going to hold it too, too slanted because uh, this bad boy, can you believe it? It is still pretty loose. So, yeah, fun, 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 fun. So basically, <laughs> that took no time at all. <laughs> For all the way that I've, I've been doing, that really took no time at all. But it is cute. But it still needs something else. So you know how I am. I have to really jazz it up. So I'm going to take these gloves off. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the dry mica on top. I think that will look nice. I think. I hope. Anyway. And um, then we'll go over to the cut. I'm going to put on my mask because this stuff is a little bit airborne. And that's it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I could do for this, this darling uh, lady here. I like to call my hopes by gender. <laughs> and this is definitely a lady. So I'll let you see her. She needs just a little bit more. Um, I don't, I just call these little things fillers. I don't know exactly what they are. And I don't know if you'll ever come across any in somebody's garden. But, here they are. <laughs> I do like them. They just make everything fill in nicely. And gives it a little bit more. A little bit more. And I don't, as long as this piping took to set up, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it now. That's crazy. But I'll give you guys a close hop. So now I can actually pick it up and lean it because it's pretty um, set up now. So yeah, hopefully you like it. If you do, be sure to give a thumbs up for all of my waiting. Because <laughs> I did wait quite a bit of time for this. But anywho, um, stay tuned because the cutting is coming up uh, right now. Welcome back to the cut. So I know this... <laughs> This soap looks a little bit short because I cut two pieces off already. I'm going to show you a close-up. Um, I cut two pieces off because um, the first time it was just like, is it ready? And it was too soft. And then the second time um, it was, I let it sit for too long. And I thought it just got a little bit too hard. I'm like, ooh, I don't know. So I just cut it just to two test cases to see if... Um, if I can cut through it because it started to cure out on the top and the bottom but however here's the two pieces that I cut right here and I can go ahead and give you a little sneak peek so the mica line is very faint which actually it looks very faint if I hold it this way I don't know what you guys can see but when I hold it towards me it's a beautiful gold a very delicate gold line through there so I'm not mad at it I love the simplicity of the inside of this bar and it's just like the showstopper is on the top so do i have these wrong absolutely <laughs> it's one whole flower I'm like that's a weird shaped flower <laughs> but that's really what it's supposed to look like oh this soap is just love and i just can't even begin to describe how beautiful it smells so yeah let's go ahead and get this old girl chopped up just because uh she's been sitting far too long i just had a lot of stuff going on and I'm just like, yeah, I need to get down here and cut this soap. Yeah, see, the bottom is still a bit hard, so I'm just going to kind of um, give it some guidance. The wire going through so I don't break my wire. But how beautiful, right? Sorry about all the background noise. It's laundry day. 
hope you guys are having a fan fantastic day um it is a lot a lot a lot i mean a whole lot of rain going on here in michigan like we're supposed to get three inches of rain over the next two days and then it's going to turn to freezing rain after that so i'm just a little bit nervous <laughs> Uh, my soaping studio is in my basement and we do have a sump pump so that's always scary for me but we've never had any problems since we lived here but I just want to kind of hang out all day and I got lots of work to do anyway so does not matter I'm going to be down here regardless oh I just love this soap so I'm thinking like I'm going to pipe another soap today um just because it's just so beautiful I need more of those soaps in my life y'all I need a little bit more I'm going to tighten this wire just a little bit. Tightening wire scares me nowadays. <laughs> I used to tighten my wires with no fear now. <laughs> they all started breaking on me. I get a little freaked out. So I'm going to go. Yeah, that part is extremely hard. All right, there we go. There we go. So I hope you guys like this gorgeous soap. Um, she will be available on the 30th of January. So, probably by the time you guys see this video, she'll be in the shop. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very excited about this. And, like, I just can't get over how good this soap smells. That was scary. <laughs> I just always forget to not let the soap sit for so long. And you can see here where it's like starting to uh, cure out. So I have to be very careful with pushing that down. I need to get on my first. <laughs> uh, years ago, my problem was I was cutting them too soon. Now, I just get so busy with life that I wait too long to cut them. And that's not a good thing, guys. If you're soap makers, still wait forever to know two weeks to cut your soap. That's not good for you, your soap, or your cutter. So it seems to be like it's having struggles filled through the bigger flowers, but the small ones is okay. That is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, guys, if you're new to my channel, again, I am so fucking happy you found me, and thanks for sticking around this long. And if you like my vibe, um, please do consider joining the SAC. What is the SAC? The SAC is the stinking awesome crew. That's what I call my subscribers, because you guys are just that. Um, I am just so happy to see my new SAC growing and growing and growing. All the new SAC members is just wonderful, and I just want to give you guys a big old... A warm heartfelt welcome to the sack I really really would like to welcome you because I'm glad that you are here it's just the new year started off beautifully and I want to stay on that trend for the rest of 2020 and beyond so yeah the sack is definitely growing all the new names and faces and comments I see you hey girl hey boy <laughs> Oh, this soap. Ah, it is just so gorgeous. Just sitting over here looking all gorgeous. I, I don't even know what her name is yet. Um, I'm going to have to come up with something. She is just so beautiful. Oh, this soap is gorgeous. I'm just... I like soaps with a lot of greenery. I really do. It just does something for them. Oh, I like that one. The bike line on that one. That's going on an angle. That's really... That was my intentions, but if you guys can remember, and if I can remember, this soap, yeah, this soap uh, took a while to set up, so, but yeah, that one's really, really pretty. I think this is my favorite bar, although it doesn't have both colors in it, I'm just in love with that peachy blush color and the gold and green, it's so pretty. Hey, I think I got an idea. I'm not going to tell you, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> but yeah, so we're nearing the end of this soap. Uh, thank you, thank you again for tuning in sticking around hanging out for your comments and okay before I go please do tell me what is the highlight of your day the highlight of my day today is coming down here and being able to cut soaps um, waking up 
and Gabe brought me coffee. Gabe is a sweetheart. He can really, really be sweet. He always brings me coffee on the weekends because um, I try to sleep in late. And for me, sleeping in late is 8 o'clock. Normally, I'm up 6 o'clock. And I just force myself to stay in bed because I'm like, girl, you, you need to get some rest. <laughs> but he brings me coffee without fail. And he always brings me a little something to eat. So he went and got me. Normally he'll bring me muffins. I was like, okay, stop with the muffins, dude. <laughs> I'm getting a little too round. <laughs> so uh, he brought me yogurt and granola and coffee. So that was the highlight of my morning and just chatting it up with him. Yeah. So what is the highlight of your day? It can be from the simplest thing to the most amazing thing. Just comment in the section below and let me know what was the highlight of your day. I want to know. All right, guys. Be awesome and amazing in everything you do. Love, hugs, and kisses. Treat each other kind. And I'll see you guys in the next making video. Bye.